Today on Big Bore Air Guns, what we're going to do is test out the power difference between the old original TX1 valve with the aluminum tank that the Air Force Texan was first put into production with and the all new carbon fiber tank they've just come out with with the TX2 valve. We're going to set up the chronograph today, take a few shots from the old TX1 valve with a 340 grain lead, see what kind of velocities we're getting. I'll switch out to the all new carbon fiber tank, fill that up. Then we're going to take it back out, shoot it through that chronograph again, and we'll see just what the power difference is between Air Force's original valve design and their all-new TX2 valve with the carbon fiber tank. All right, folks, so here we go with our first test. We're going to be firing these homemade 340 grain slugs out of the Air Force Texan. Our first test today is going to be with the TX1 valve that originally came with the Texan rifle when I bought it. I've got a serial number lower than 150 on my rifle. So this was the very first valve that they produced on the original tank. So let's go ahead now and load one of these big chunks of lead in the rifle. We'll take a shot through the chronograph just to see what the velocity is. Here we go. Shot number one through the TX1 valve. 778 feet per second. That's not too bad. Definitely not as fast as they say it's going to go when you purchase the rifle, but it's still not too bad. All right, real quickly here, let's go ahead and take a second shot just so we have two velocities. Here we go, shot number two, TX1 valve. 750 feet per second. Real quickly, let me go ahead and switch out the old TX1 valve tank. We'll throw in the TX2 valve tank. Fill that all the way up to 3600 PSI. Take a few shots through the chronograph and see just what the differences in power are. I'm not gonna even adjust the power wheel on the rifle. I'm gonna leave it just where it is. All right, folks, it took just a brief second to change out those tanks. It was nice and easy. Follow the directions that come with the tank. We now have the carbon fiber tank with a TX2 valve attached to our original Texan air rifle. Let me go ahead now and set up. We'll take a couple shots just to see what the power difference is. I've just loaded one of those 340 grain projectiles that we shot last time. Let's go ahead and take a shot with the all new carbon fiber TX2 valve tank. And let's see just what the chronograph says the power difference is. All right, so we're at 864 feet per second with that shot. Uh, that's about 100 feet per second faster than we were shooting with the TX1 valve on our last shots there. Let's go ahead and load one more of those up and take another shot. It's definitely going to produce a lot more foot-pounds of energy being 100 feet per second faster. I'll throw that up on the screen for you here in just a second. Here we go, shot number two with the new TX2 valve tank. It says 819 feet per second. So there you go, there's your first two shots. We'll go ahead and throw one more, a third shot downrange on that just to kind of see what the drop in velocity is over three shots. And I'll give you a good comparison there of the foot-pounds of energy because we're still not down to the foot-pounds of energy of the TX1 valve, so it's always a good sign. Um, a little bit of air hit in the front of my chronograph there, brawling the leaf of it out, but it says 786 feet per second. That's a substantial difference between the TX1 and the TX2 valves. That should make this rifle a much more capable tool at a much longer range. 